Hello everybody, this is WizWorld 100, you're the viewers and I'm the vlogger and welcome to uh, the February vlog of what happened uh, in February and I apologize for this being really really late, I had a medical problem that caused me to uh, have a very swollen face that I did not wish to show on camera and not only that, it prevented me from talking properly and eating properly. So. Yeah, that's why things are late, that's why Sunday Showcase is late, but, you know, I'm, I'm healing up and so it's gotten a lot better too. So, let's get on to uh, February's uh, vlog of 2015. Okay, so here are the videos you might have missed in the month of February. There is the video game logs that I was kind of testing out. Not sure whether I will continue with uh, going on that. Still, um... You know, if you, if you kind of enjoyed it, you know, listening to it in the background, then, you know, let me know. Because then, you know, I'll do it like every Friday where I just talk about a game that I've been playing recently. And I do play a lot of games uh, off screen when you're not seeing me do video game reviews on them. And uh, I actually did record a little more for this, but I decided to only release two of them, which I think is kind of appropriate. Is Republic Commando on the PC, which you all go check out that video game logs to see what I thought about it. Um, Star Wars World, Road Squadron 3D, which is awesome, which you could, should also check out. And it's ironic that I also said in that in the Star Wars Road Squadron video game laws that that was the final one I would do, which was not true. I actually did some more, but I kind of ended on ended it on that note because th those were the bigger stuff I wanted to talk about, and I think I actually covered it a lot better considering I did beat both of them, or at least you know in the past and in the present. So that's. One of the few things, video game logs, and the Sunday Showcase videos. There is the Aladdin on Super Nintendo. Go check that out. Telly Glitch on PC. Go check that out too. That one's um not as good, but you know, check it out anyways because it was a cool game. Another is Electric Super Joy. Special thanks to KSC2 for uh, the game. This was done on a for a belated or after uh, Valentine's Day when I did a review of it, which you should also check out too. But yeah, I played a game showing it off to, you know, to show everyone like what the game was like, despite what I said in my review. And the last one for the month is Shadow Dancer on the uh, Sega Genesis, which I played kind of in more spirit of National Ninja Day, so check that out. Although the audio really, really sucked on that because of the camera that I was using. It's not this camera, which does a much better job of catching the audio, so that was kind of annoying, but you are able to hear it, but Sun Sunday Showcase is not supposed to be top quality like my reviews, it's just supposed to be just there. And I also need to do uh, one that I missed for this past uh, Sunday Showcase, which is also ironic because the last one was late and this one is uh, another day late, so be sure to watch the Sunday Showcase. And the reviews is... The Electric Super Joy for, that I did for uh, Valentine's Day because I felt it was appropriate and I thought I, I'd make it short and sweet. And another one I did kind of uh, a month before February was Disney's Mulan for Chinese New Year, which was pretty good. And uh, actually, I'm still waiting. I'm still wondering, like, what did you guys think of it? Like, I know there were a lot of likes for it, and uh, that says quite a few things, but. I really would have liked some comments to know what you guys thought of it. I thought I did a... Like, in terms of entertainment, I thought it was pretty good. It wasn't great, but I thought, like, with the material I was working with, it was pretty good. Plans for the month. Uh, more Sunday Showcase. Like I said, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm gonna go record the, the uh, late Sunday Showcase. Uh, more Sega Genesis Quickies. I have uh, recorded and written up the script for the next Sega Genesis Quickies, and I want to get on to doing that. And if you don't know, I turned 24 this month, so... Happy birthday to me! Great, I wonder what I should wish for. Another, like, video I want to do is, for this month specifically, based on the fact that it's my birthday month, games that I grew up with, so... It'll be just, like, a, a bunch of games that, you know, I grew up with, like, uh, for instance, the, uh... Well, the Kirby games I grew up with, the Disney games I grew up with, just just stuff that I grew up with. That's the plan. I'm not necessarily uh, promising that, but I do want to get on to doing that. Because 
they, they were just games I really, really I just grew up with. That, that's the whole theme, games I grew up with. Of course, there'll be like different separate videos of it to have a category. Recent pickups. Uh, let's see, I picked up Fossil Fighter 3DS at a Staples. I, um, Zero Master mentioned this title to me and I was like, oh, I was actually picking it up for Blondie's brother because he, he wanted it because he expressed huge interest in it because he's a dinosaur fanatic and such. And I got it. And apparently he also got one too uh, when during that during uh, Zero Master's visit there. But I was like, eh. Uh, Zero Master said the game was pretty good and I wouldn't really hold hold too much water with that, but you know, I would still take a look. The concept sounded pretty interesting, so who knows? It could have been really good. I only played a little bit of it, but not enough to get an actual idea of it. And Tales of Symphonia Chronicles for the PlayStation 3. I figured, you know, check out Tale, the Tales game, and it's not like I'll be able to get the GameCube game anytime soon, so... Mm -hmm. And plus it comes with two games, so price wasn't that bad. Definitely would have liked it better. <laughs> I, I, I kind of knew why I got this game again, but at the same time I questioned it. it. Is Ghost Squad on the Wii? That game sucks mainly because it, because of the value, the value of it that you pay for it. Like if you bought it like much much earlier. But um, I got it for two reasons. One, I kind of want to do a redo on it, kind of like. In, in um in one of these months, I want to do this thing where I revisit certain games that I've done and such, and that would be the theme for that month. Not sure which month I would do that in, but we'll just have to see. But the other reason is that uh, you actually can't find Ghost Squad anywhere, so I guess I'm kind of collecting it for not reserve, not preserve, but to like just have a copy of it somewhere. So that's the thought. Now, since I got a NES last month in December. I have obviously had to go get Mario and Duck Hunt at a Game Mania. It was pretty cool, and if you didn't know this, Duck Hunt was actually the first ever video game I actually I ever played, or at least the one I remember, because there were also those Tiger handheld electronics, but I remember playing Duck Hunt the most because of the, you know, the zapper. And that's the other reason I got it, is because I have a, a zapper with the NES that I was... with the NES that uh, a friend of mine sold to me, Mini Ninjas. Go check him out, as usual. And I wanted to play with the Zapper, and there aren't that many games that use the Zappers. So that's why I got it. Uh, I got the new 3DS system with charger, a case, the Legend of Zelda uh, XL case, which I, which I kind of really, really wanted, but I never had an XL until now. And screen protectors, which are, jeez, the price of those is up. It's abysmal. I had to trade in my, um old 3DS because uh, let's say I needed to have some updates and for those of you who know the reason behind it or more specific details about why I did the whole trade in well you know what it is but yeah I have a new 3DS it's not here with me I have it so now I can play games and uh, use the little new control stick other things I picked up is the funny or die board game at Dollarama for three bucks I actually was kind of interested in getting it before at Target for 12, 15 bucks, but you know, but I was like, eh, I don't know if this board game will be good. So when I saw that uh, Dollarama for three bucks, I was like, no, nah, that's, that's a pretty good price. Uh, let's see, another thing I got was the Lorax movie, which is also being sold at Dollarama for three bucks with the DVD and Blu-ray copy of it and some extra stuff with it too. So I was like, mm, pretty good value. And who knows, I'm, I'll, I'll, I might watch it at some point. Um, and other, these next few are a bunch of like videos and movie related. Ghostbusters 1 and 2, I was like, yeah, you're not gonna really get any better. Well, you could get better than $9.99, but hey, we're also gonna get a slightly better deal. I would have preferred 5, but you know, $9.99 is not too bad, and it's not like it's gonna drop anytime soon. Uh, got Batman The Dark Knight Rises, and at Dollarama, Pocket Ninjas. I saw that movie with D. Tyson. This movie sucks. And I want to do a review on it. Because it has so just enough suckage materials to work with. So, movie review sometimes in the future. Now, if you don't know this thing I do at Dollarama, the reason I keep visiting it over and over is to find anime DVDs. And I got a, and I got some more. Um, 
there, it was Geisters and Shaman King Volume 2. I collect it because it's kind of like a little game to me, and plus, you know, maybe someday I'll sit down and actually watch it. I actually collect a lot of DVDs, but that I don't actually get around to watching because I don't watch things by myself. A lot because it's just, or it's not as fun watching the stuff by myself. Things I've done. Well, I finally, for the first time in my life, actually beat Mario on NES, okay? I'd like to thank uh, Safety Man da slash Danger Man slash Matthew Grump for uh, helping me with beating that game and just giving advice on it. So that really, really helped. Like, he, he's really good at the Mario games. Like, like he almost no death the game, and, and he's really good at Mario 64, so props to him and thanks. And obviously I wrote more scripts whenever I don't record or film anything. Because, you know, Fuckface Furnace is still going and right now it's snowing a lot. So, in a few moments I'll probably have to go out and shovel or at least sweep the snow. Fun. Now well, I've been playing Nuclear Thrones a lot. Uh, me and George the Hitman have discussions about it and playing it and trying to get through more than Loop 1. I almost got through Loop 2 but the game... This game is a lot of fun, but at times there, there is a lot of fuck this game moment, okay? Because it's like, it just sometimes wants to screw you over, and it has, many times. But yeah, I've been playing it a lot, trying to just go through it, just trying to beat it, just get as far as I can, always just die. But it's still a fun game. Uh, another, ge another, another game that I've been playing is Pokemon Shuffle. Yes, I am serious, and the reason I, that I'm playing it was because it was free, and I actually like uh, I like puzzle games. I don't know if you know that. I, you know, I I have those games where I play really competitively on, and then there's the puzzle games where it's a little bit more relaxed, but it can get a little competitive. And Pokemon Shuffle was, you know, I, I had fun with it. I had fun with it, and I'm still playing it, trying to uh, catch them all. I think this is about the best chance I have of catching them all. But the game is free, so you can play and see and check it out for yourself. It's on the eShop, so that's why. I thought it was an alright puzzle game with an interesting idea with the Pokemon theme in it, and that it's not just, you know, you swapped all the images with, uh, all the Tetris images with Pokemon. It's actually just a little more than that. So, I was kind of intrigued by it. And obviously I had a really, really shitty reaction to this medicine lotion or cream that my doctor gave me, which uh, caused my face to swell up, so I kind of looked like, looked like Zero Master, but it, it was, it, it was terrible. Couldn't talk properly, couldn't eat properly, pain all over, I looked like shit. Like, I literally went to, like, I looked at myself in the mirror and I was just like, Whoa. Fuck is oh that's me. It's just ugh, it was terrible. Also I had trouble sleeping too because of that. But I am getting better. I'm not having pains around my face. I'm still flaking a or flaking slash shedding a bit, but you know, I'm I'm getting better, so videos will be back on track. So that was the vlog of last February. I once again apologize it for being late, but there just happened to be to be the big problem with uh, my swollen face, that's why I have not been recording and getting things done on time. I, I hope you found that, I hope you found that vlog informative of what you might have missed and what to expect in this month of March, which is my birthday month. So, until then, this is Wizwar100, you're the viewers and I'm the vlogger, so stay tuned for more and I'm gonna go do some more Sunday Showcase. See ya!